Hey guys, so Tobin and I are doing, there he is. Hey, stay there. <laughs> um, Tobin and I are going to be filming a Q&A today. And I asked you guys questions on, oh my. The sun is bright today. I asked you guys questions on Instagram. So in my stories and on a post. So we're gonna be answering those today. Right now we're gonna take the pups on a little hike. BB, you exploring? Did you find a shady spot? Okay, you wanna go home? <gasps> yeah, you ready to go home? Okay, come on. A good dog dad. I don't pick up poop. <laughs> I pick up all the poop. <laughs> Caleb, are you ready to answer question number one? Oh yeah. Okay. You guys do it. <laughs> That's very cute. So we've got a bunch of questions from Instagram uh, stories and an Instagram post. So we'll go with the first one, which is babies. <laughs> Babies. Do you plan on having any children, and if so, when and how many? Well, we were gonna to wait to tell you guys this, but. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just, kidding. Just kidding. It's kind of funny because when I was younger, like growing up, I always thought that 26 was gonna be the age that I had kids and got pregnant. Um, and I had this number in my head before I even met Tobin, but. Now that I'm 25, <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking no. <laughs> Tobin and I have been married for four years, and these four years just feel like they went by so fast that I would love to be married a little longer and travel and just spend time together. And yep. that was one of the things our parents said when. We got, we got married at 21, which is pretty young, but they were not concerned about the age thing at all. They just said, make sure you spend time together yep. before you have kids. Yep. So that's, I feel like that's the stage we're in right now. But yeah. we do also talk about babies pretty frequently. We do, we talk about babies a lot. <laughs> if it happened, wouldn't be the worst thing, that's for sure. No, we'd be pretty stoked. Yeah. We have baby names picked out. Yeah. Right, question number two. How did you guys meet? Who made the first move? I'll answer this one because I like telling this story. But Tobin and I met through mutual friends in Southern California. He was living in Ventura and I was living in Long Beach. I was down there visiting and we kind of had this like really awkward and very brief encounter. And I'm never <laughs> awkward. Pretty much this guy, all the time. when I first met him, was like the shyest. I think I'm still the shyest. Well, no, you have grown a lot. You've done, you've done good. <laughs> like after we had met very briefly, didn't talk at all. Like he didn't ask for my number. It just wasn't really a thing um, because of the let's call it shockwardness. Shockwardness. It's your shy awkwardness. So shockward. <laughs> And then I found him on on the gram through those mutual friends and we were we were chatting it up. So basically after we'd met for the first time, we talked on DM. Mm-hmm. And we on, started to like Skype and Yep, did a lot of Skyping and FaceTiming and Snapchatting and that went on for like a little bit over a month. I think that was kind of our way of like getting to know each other without taking this plunge of like, I'm gonna drive over an hour to <laughs> visit I you. Had no and money I don't for even... gas, so I had to <laughs> yeah. be very Neither careful. of us yeah. did. I guess, because you didn't ask for my number, you could say I made the first move. You definitely <laughs> made the first move. <laughs> In my heart, I wanted to, but mm -hmm. my shockwardness. Sure. 
So our next question is, do you plan on staying in the Bay Area or relocating somewhere else? So this is something that we talk about quite frequently. Because we met in Southern California, that's where both of us kind of feel like we're at home, right? Oh yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, we moved to, to the Bay Area like four years ago for a job. So it was not like we saw this place that we wanted to live in and, and moved like there. moved there. Yeah. We didn't really know anything about it. Mm -hmm. And while there's definitely a lot that I love about living up here. Like we love Marin specifically, yeah. not necessarily the Bay Area yeah. combined. But while there's a lot that's cool, there's just so much more about Southern California that's like our vibe. Yeah, and that we resonate with. Everywhere in Southern California, because I lived in LA, um, in Silver Lake and then moved to Long Beach and then moved to Ventura after we had gotten married and every single one of those places Although very different all felt like home. Yeah, Northern California in general was one of those places that it took us about a year For it to just kind of settle in and feel like home Yeah, and honestly for me personally the only times I felt like really at home here are when I'm like out yeah, when outside. we're outside. The wilderness and stuff around here is incredible. There's just a different vibe here that <laughs> is not for us. And also as far as our careers go, it would be really nice to live yeah, in LA. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. And we're lucky that we're getting to do what we're doing here. Yeah. Not a long-term thing. No. And we don't really have a timeline for when we want to move either. It's just kind of one of those things that it's it'll inevitable. happen eventually. Yeah. 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 A specific question for Tobes. What does he now do for a career? What do you do for a career? What's your job? I... Besides being a Phoebe Wrangler. Yeah, I'm a full-time Phoebe Wrangler. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know how to describe oh my, gosh. my title. Yes, you do. Just say it. <laughs> I. This is I what I was talking about with this weird, like, <laughs> humble thing that he has that he gets all uncomfortable oh. when he has to talk about himself. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm i a commercial director, so I I make like ads, yeah, and, ads and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, pretty, that's pretty much it. Cool, <laughs> moving on, really all do, you had to say. I can do that again. Next question, oh, with who are you spending Thanksgiving and what are your favorite parts of the meal? So this is post Thanksgiving, but we were with my family this year. We had a lot of crap go on in my family this year. Um, we lost a lot of people that are very close to us. Um, the main one being my Grammy. We lost her not even two months ago. So we thought it was important to be with my family this holiday season, just with the transitions and everything that are going on and just kind of be together and be supportive of each other. But we do love a white Christmas in Colorado. So that's where Tobin uh, grew up and where his family is. They live outside of Aspen. Can't really go wrong with that either. What is your favorite part of Thanksgiving meal? That's hard because I kind of love everything. The best part is that one bite where it's like it's all a little bit together. of everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good answer. I cooked all of Thanksgiving this year. I did... Crushed Thanksgiving, man. I did two turkeys. I will say... The sweet potato casserole was awesome because I made it so it wasn't super sweet. You use um, orange zest and some sage in the crumble um, and pecans and then no sweetener in the base and yeah. you use fresh roasted sweet potatoes. Oh, so good. What are your plans involving kids, school, careers, vacations? It's like That's a lot of stuff. Four questions in one. Not going back to school. Yeah, school's done. That's for sure. Neither of us graduated high school. No. I mean, <laughs> college. We graduated high school, good job. <laughs> Vacations, we talk about quite frequently. We've gone to Kauai a few times and that's kind of our favorite place to go. But we've also been there so many times that we're also thinking like, should we try something yeah, new? Something so the most researched vacation um, recently has been Bora Bora. I would love to go yeah, like, we next just, year. Um, and then obviously places, like I would love to go to Spain, yeah. um, Europe, Greece, yeah. It's like Travel right now Europe, the but. feeling I think we have is just a tropical yes. decompression vacation. Yes. And then later on, like in a couple years, 
do like do a like full the Europe big, like, thing. Yeah, month long Europe tours. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Who takes up most of the bed? Sequoia. Sequoia. 100%. Well, no, Phoebe. I don't know. Sequoia. Because no, Phoebe most of the time is just like curled up in this little ball. And then if she does spread out, she's just on her back like this. Yeah. But Sequoia takes up. Phoebe is pretty good at just kind of like she is. leaving in yeah. into her little spot. Yeah. True, true story. I take up a lot of room. <laughs> so I'm used to just like the edge. I like the edge. No, it's not even about the... No. No. Because you... He... Bye. <laughs> does this thing where I'll have my pillow here and he'll have his pillow here. And then all of a sudden he'll like be on it and then he'll lift it and then be here. Like his pillow overlapping on top of mine and it drives me crazy. Is it so bad that I just want it to be as close to you as possible? What happened to you like the edge? Living on the edge. I like you more than the edge. <laughs> hey guys, so, oh my God, <clears throat> sorry. I had been like sick the last half of the week. This is the first time I think I've muttered words in a couple hours and it doesn't sound great. And I just wanted to thank you guys for watching this video. It was so much fun for Tobin and I to make. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little disappointed that we didn't get juicier questions, but <clears throat> oh my gosh. I wanted to thank you guys for participating on my Instagram. And yeah, the next video is going to be us getting our Christmas tree and kind of a day in the life vlog of Toad and I running errands and decorating our house and um, going grocery shopping and all that good stuff. So you guys will get to see um, our cute little apartment and how we decided to decorate it and going and picking out our tree. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, it was so much fun for us to make. And if you enjoyed it as well, please, please, please don't forget to like it and subscribe so that you guys see a video from me very soon. Okay, bye.